welcome back to Crafty Leaks. Today we are going to do some painting of these um, hives that are for bees so that they can nest in. Um, we have some leaf cutter bees in our garden so we're hoping that we can um, entice them. So what we need to do is pull them apart. voiceover us here. Yep, yeah, so here we are and what we thought we'd talk to you today is some, some random facts random facts about us. So there's five for me and five for Rian. Hello. 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 Right, so the first random fact about me is that I have fibromyalgia. And if you don't know what fibromyalgia is, it's um, an illness that causes um, pain um, th all throughout the body, basically. And so I spend a lot of time ill in bed and I'm not going to mention my medical things because she's yeah. got she's got a big list. We'll probably do a video just on Rianne one day. I'm like modern day Steve Rogers, right? <laughs> Before the serum, I'm waiting for a weird scientist to walk up to me and say, "Do you want a super soldier serum?" And then I'll be like, "Yes." <laughs> so, what's your first random fact? I am ambidextrous, which is why you'll notice currently I'm painting with my left hand, but then I'll swap to my right hand when I'm painting the sunflowers later on. If you've ever been confused by that or didn't notice, now you know. <laughs> and she also plays darts with her right hand. Right hand. But then I could throw with my left if I broke my right hand. Which mm. I haven't done that yet. I haven't broke any bone in my body. That's not a fact. Well, I mean, well, it, it is. is. <laughs> yet. I want to put yet so I don't curse my luck. Yeah. Okay, next random fact about me is that I spent a month in hospital paralysed all down my left side. And I can't remember a single second of this. Well, I remember pushing you in a, well, someone pushing you in a wheelchair. Then I remember you in a hospital bed, but that's probably for one of the other reasons. And that's all I can remember. Can't remember anything else. Ah, Childhood yeah. me, blocky but dead. I got over the paralysis and now well, I'm, I'm not fine, but I'm pretty good. So, Ria, next one. I am bilingual. I speak fluent Welsh. Well, like South Welsh, because the fluid North is... Welsh. I don't understand the North. I'm sorry. I know like Ruan and that's about it. For my Welsh GCSEs I got a C in Cymraeg Iaith, which is Welsh first language. Basically you're taught more complex Welsh in Welsh, kind of like if you got taught French in French. So there's no like English going on. And then I got a B in my English, which was quite good considering mm. like both of them, lots of things going on personally. I, yeah. I'm actually surprised I passed my GCSEs. You did very, very well. Thank you. Anyway, my next random fact is... Oh, yeah, my picture was featured in Take Heart Gallery. What I, picture? What I gallery? Did, I you know. haven't told me this before. I Take Heart afraid. used to be a children's TV program when I was younger, and there was um, a gallery which you sent in your pictures every every week. People send in pictures, and my yeah. mum sent in one that I did of a chick with cotton wool. You mean like a drawing? Yeah, I drew a chick, and then I filled it in with like cotton wool, and then right. I put chalk dust over the top, and I was featured in the gallery. Oh, was yeah. that kind of like Art Attack or something? Similar, yeah, very similar. Okay, Art Attack is a program. You know, I don't know if anybody else has it. I mean, just Google it. <laughs> anyway, my third fact is I like to write books a lot. Like I've been writing since I could write. So what do you write? You what are the? I write on Wattpad mostly and a bit of Quotev. I use A3 every now and then, but I'm not really commonly using it. I just can't like. And she's oh, got yeah, many pe people reading them. What was your views last time? You left? No, let's just move on to the next one. <laughs> she doesn't. She doesn't like to take compliments, does Aria? Anyway, oh my, my next one is that I'm a direct descendant of Rob Roy McGregor. You have to say it in a Scottish <laughs> accent. Rob Roy McGregor. No, that's not a very good Scottish accent. <laughs> Sorry, all you Scottish people. But yes, we are Slightly direct Scottish descendants. We're on the family tree as well. So. Yeah, so if you don't know who Rob Roy McGregor is, I say go find He's the film. He's like films. Scottish Robin Hood. Yeah. The bear. Unreal. <laughs> Unreal, yeah. So, yeah, there is a film that Liam Nielsen did with um, acting as Rob Roy McGregor. So you can always go and watch that. But, yeah, that's my claim to fame. And mine. <laughs> and yours, obviously, yeah. Yeah. Um, so my fourth fact. That was your fourth fact, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. My fourth fact was that once upon a time, I played against Joss Lucy, who's like known for Welsh rugby and English rugby now too, I think, um, in Tiddlywinks. 
Did when you I win? was in school. No, I lost. <laughs> I almost won. And then he won. He never played before. And I was like... Oh, yeah. never mind. But and you, because you were the, the school champion, you? Championship. Yeah, that's my claim to fame. Actually, <laughs> that's the one sport I can do. I can't really do darts that well. I can do diddlywinks, competitive diddlywinks. I lost against one person who was my friend, and then I beat everybody else. So in the end, I sort of like, you know, topped everybody. Yeah. And then I lost against Josh Lucy. So I guess he's technically the school championship. <laughs> champion. Champion person. person. Yeah, I like that. Okay, my last random fact, which might get me into a bit of trouble, but I once, when I was younger, got drunk during school time with my best friend. <laughs> <laughs> and I got caught. And we did. We, we got caught and we got sent home. Um, and they said, take off the next day to get over your hangover, etc, etc. That sounds more like they're looking after you. Yeah, but I mean, I didn't have a hangover, but I spent the following day sunbathing, so that was okay. So, yeah. That's not okay. That doesn't make it okay. <laughs> Next time it was fine. I was, like, I was a bit of a delinquent. A bit. But a good delinquent. As in we never did anything really really terrible or horrid or you know, burn any buildings down or anything. <laughs> I think that's called um, illegal. Yeah. Not misbehave. But I mean, yeah. I'm, it's technically illegal to drink under the age of 18. Especially if you bite yourself, because here you can drink from the age of five if your parent gives it to you, and obviously not too much at home. But then, other than that, eighteen is the limit. I know most places is like twenty-one, right? Yeah, eighteen here. This is eighteen here, yeah. And then it's like seventeen in Greece. Yeah. So, I, but I don't recommend getting drunk in school. Anybody? Don't, okay. Don't do it. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> okay. So. Your I like your note. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very long. So I have been watching Doctor Who since before I can remember, really. Because the first episode I remember watching was Christopher Eccleston's last one, like the last, last one, so second part, last part of that. And I remember watching that, and I knew what was going on, because I remember knowing what was going on, so obviously I watched episodes before that. So I've been watching it since I was like three years old, four years yeah. old. And she loved it. She was never frightened of any of the monsters. Um, Weeping Angels. They freaked me out. Oh yeah, they still freak me out. Angels. When I was younger, I just couldn't not blink, and now I think I can't not blink. But then, it, like if you hold your eye open, I don't. They don't close. It just See? feels like they close. But that's what I'm thinking with the weeping angels. I don't get it. Why don't they just close one eye at a time? They and do. Then you're still that's in one of the books. It, you know. So yeah, but then you don't want to mess up, really. Well, you just time yourself. Because in the book I read, it was Amy and Rory doing that. Not that I'd ever want to meet a weeping angel. No. At least I know what I would do if I did meet one. Do you know what? who would be good for, against them, though? Like, a Matt Murdock from Daredevil, though? Because he's blind, and it's like, when Amy couldn't open her eyes, it's like, just pretend like you can see. He can pretend like he can see. And then he do that, <laughs> and then he don't blink. <laughs> he won't blink, and then it'll be good. And they won't know he can't see, because nobody does. <laughs> when it's a D, D and a, they don't yeah. know. Anyway, sorry. Recent yeah. obsession. Oh, I suppose we better talk a little Charlie bit. Charlie Cox is great. Now that we've given you some random facts, we'll tell you a little bit about what we were we do. doing. Yeah, mine, you can see them with my right hand now, like I mentioned earlier. Wow, look at me being so talented. I hate these sunflowers, to be honest. I could have done better. But I went with the Van Gogh theme. And I went with a child's garden, bedroom sort of theme. Dramatic so, footage. Yeah. Taken by yours truly. <laughs> So we shortened the video a lot, sped up it a lot. And, and we don't know if we want to like sell these for charity or keep them ourselves for our bees, but since they have a home, we're a bit and yeah. knowing. So if you have any suggestions, let us know down below. Yeah. And we'll see you next My time. My voice went weird. On Crafty Lakes. Thanks for watching. Bye.